Hi everybody, Robert here with more River Training. Today we're going to start a new series and it is going to be creating a commercial building and uh, we've done residential, so let's go to commercial. So the first thing you need to do is for a commercial, you want to go new and you got our templates here. As you notice, you won't find commercial here, so you have to browse to it. And I'll just select the top one here, and then we will go open. And then OK. Now, this is our project file now, and basically we have our, our wall types here. So if I go in the architecture wall, oh, sorry, architecture wall here you'll see all these wall types from the pull down. Okay, so now with this building we're gonna use, we're gonna work with, let me cancel that. So here also, uh, the, if you look in a project browser, there's several things already set up. We've got sections, sheets for sections, uh, details, so, even schedules here. So commercial templates is basically giving us everything we need. So now the typical wall section uh, will be uh, will be a, a wall would be five eighths inch jet board, three eighths, three and five eighths or metal stud, and residential. You know, it's two by four. Width. So here we're going to use metal studs in this. So now we're going to start our project in the manage tab. And we'll go over here under project information. So we'll put in our project information. So basically here, uh, we'll go to right here, uh, issue date. We'll leave that blank project status. We'll call this preliminary. And then we'll give our owner, our famous John Doe. <laughs> And then a project name, or oh, we go at our address here. There's a little builder. You push your address in, and um, let's see, we'll call this uh, 1200. <laughs> I should have got it. Well, I know 1600. No, I don't want to do that. 1200 3rd Avenue. Northwest. That's a DC address, I think. Washington, DC. So this information goes in here, basically, and it carries throughout the project. Uh, so we go 20201. Okay. And we'll go okay. Oh, so I want to bring that back here, and then we got uh a route analysis settings just to show you this uh, these are uh, well we won't need these we'll talk about them later this is analysis probably for egress and things like that I think and then uh, next we want to go say okay here and then we want to go back to our project browser on the sheets so we'll say sheet one. We'll open that one. Now there's our, uh-oh, he didn't give us the project name. So let's just jump back here right quickly. Uh, get us the project name. Oh, we didn't give it a number either. So let's say uh, design firm. So as you can see, my design firm, sorry about that. And our project number will be one, two, three, one. That's uh, six, six, four, five, five. Okay. Just making these up, and then we'll say okay here. So as you can see, um, the project information was updated, and 
now we want to, at this point, you want to save this file. You want to do a file. Save as. I mean, you can do this in little versions of Revit right along with me. And this will be project. And I'm going to say, I'm going to save this on somewhere else. Save it on my desktop. Uh, just save it right there. Let's save it one just in case. <laughs> I'll just save it. Uh, options, of course. Ooh, no. See, you want to knock that down too in a, in a uh, commercial uh, template. So uh, make that one. Okay. And I will save him now. I'll just overwrite the other one. I hope it wasn't important. <laughs> okay, so now. We have our project set up and our information ready to go. So what we need to do at this point is go down to our level one. So we'll switch to level one. And here in level one, you want to uh, go to the wall tool on the architecture tab. And we want to just place a... Uh, architecture here a 12 inch generic wall and the height will be it will be height it'll be unconnected right now and the location line we're going to use the finished face exterior and then we're going to have chain selected so now what I'm going to do I'm going to just draw it I'm going to sketch these walls in this so maybe you can follow along, uh, and then we're going to, okay, so this one here, this is going to be about 68, let's make it 66, but now this is 87, this is 28, let's make it 20. Eight, just follow along with me and we'll work this all out. This is 17. Here it gets a little interesting here, so let's just stop it right about there. At that point. And then up here, we're going to come down 20 feet. Come over here, 50 from there. Then we're going to just bring this down here. Actually, we want to just do a fill it here because this is going to be an opening. So let's just bring this up to here. And I'm going to see if I can just do this. Uh, now, I want to give this a radius. Okay. So you guys get the message starting off here. So I'm gonna go to the wall. Let's see if I can do this here. If this will work for me. Hope so. Yeah, I think so. And this is going to be 26 feet. Oops, sorry. Let's try that again. Probably bring this up a bit more here. Save it there. I know it's, it's okay. I'm gonna architecture wall. Then I'll select this. Ooh, that's gonna be 26 feet. If that'll work for us. Okay, so there's our, our layout. That we're going to use, and I'll just mention this so you can follow along. So, this one is 27. This is, uh, let me just drop these in and we'll move on. So, we got that's uh, 60, actually going to be 63. So, you can select this guy and say 63 feet 8. 
So that's our layout. Just follow along, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. But okay, now another thing we can do: we're gonna model. We can go in and uh, since these we know these are our exterior walls. So what I'm gonna do here is just basically select these walls here, and just hit the tab key, and then we'll go down and we'll select exterior on metal studs slip face you just say okay here and there's a wall tight so now you got to watch the little flipper here just in case see i did all these backwards gonna have some issues that's good so anyway yep for the most part we're good this one's not so hey folks thanks for watching my video uh, see what that looks like in 3d Okay, so we got started with our walls, and we'll move on with the level, the floor plans in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all. Everybody be safe. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.